Hey babies and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are continuing on with the Calico Critter series today and we are going to be doing a really fun cute one. It is going to be the grocery market and we are going to also be doing a little piece that I think goes great with it. Um, it is the fruit wagon run by the chipmunks um i think the chipmunks are on my to buy list they look almost identical to the sand cats that i mentioned in my previous video um there's something wrong with the chipmunks but they look almost identical to the sand cats like the facial markings the coloring the only difference is the bushy tail so i might just have the sand cats running the grocery store in the fruit stand and let's dive right in as you know because i've mentioned it in my previous videos i love miniatures especially the cute food aspects and this one is chock full of fun and cute things um there are instructions on the flaps looks like how to assemble the conveyor belt of which uh this is kind of cool so it looks like there's a little slider that will be on the conveyor belt to actually move the groceries along that's cool the other flap just kind of tells you how to put some of the food items together and where to put all the stickers and it looks like there are going to be a lot of stickers and then the other inside flap this one looks like it just shows you how to assemble all the pieces of the store together so let's see just cardboard framing this is cardboard wrapped around a goodie box cardboard framing stickers all right set those aside the floor, the store frame itself, and then just two pieces of plastic which go on the garbage side. So we will set this off to the side where I can easily grab it and look at where to place all the different stickers. Um, the doors are twist tied together. off of there all right and then the floor goes this way there's some notches on it the notches with the deeper holes are where this will click into just line them up Oops. So one side went in really easy, the other side isn't, so bear with me. There we go. Something that clicks into place satisfyingly. I love that. Um, again, the doors don't seem to stay shut. They just like to flop open. The one almost feels like it clicked into place and like it doesn't flop back open, but maybe that was just sheer, sheer dumb luck. All right, so let's keep this kind of in frame. Let's see what is in the goodie box. The goodie box is not only tabbed shut, but taped shut. Oh my goodness, look at all these little bits. I'm so excited. So I am just going to kind of pull everything out and set it off to the side. Alrighty, so there's that. Okay, so I'm going to open up the sticker packet and get all those going. I mean, there is a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, and I think it does come with a little storybook. Yeah, it does. Okay, storybook for the grocery market, Bell and the Market. So, um, Bell the Hopscotch Rabbit is featured in this one as well. Bell Hopscotch Rabbit loved the market. Every time Bell's family went to the market, the owner, Bianca Marshmallow Mouse, um, oh my gosh, do I own the mouse family? Maple Cat family, Persian Cat family, Midnight Cat family, and there is a fourth family over there, but I don't know if it's the marshmallow mice. So now, oh my gosh, what if I forgot to buy the marshmallow mice? I own the girl from the Town Girl series, but now I'm going to have to look into that. Anyways... 
Um, Bianca Marshmallow Mouse would offer them the best fruits and vegetables. They were always fresh and delicious. Needless to say, lots of customers came to the market and Mrs. Marshmallow was very busy indeed. Would you like me to help you today? Asked Belle one day. Oh, whoops, I was using a mom voice. Huh? Mrs. Marshmallow was very happy for the help. She asked Belle to work at the cash register, something Belle always wanted to do. And I actually still have Belle sitting off to the side from my previous video, so maybe we'll just kind of stick her right in front. Oops. <laughs> so that she can feel like she's part of the story. Okay. But working at the cash register wasn't as easy as it looked. No kidding. For anybody who's ever worked in retail, we all know what a thrill it is. Belle suggested new fruits and vegetables for the customers to try, but the customers ended up with too much food to fit in their baskets. And uh, look at that little picture right there. She's friggin' dropped apples and oranges all over the ground. The apples are gonna be all bruised and gross. Oh no, the customer said. How will I get all of this home? I am sorry, said Belle sadly. She just wanted to help the customers, but she just caused them so much trouble. But Mrs. Marshmallow just smiled at her. You were still a big help, she said, and I'm happy that your family comes and buys my fruits and vegetables so often too. Here's a gift for you. You can make something delicious with them. And with that, Mrs. Marshmallow gave Belle all kinds of fruits and vegetables. She even gave Belle some special recipes. Aww. I don't remember if the previous books actually had like these clips. I think these clips are from the actual, no, not from the actual show, just Pose. I knew, I do know that there is like an animated show, I think either through YouTube or Prime or Apple TV, something like that. Thank you, Mrs. Marshmallow, said Belle happily. Belle always loved cooking and was very good at it. As soon as Belle got home, she tried her new recipes from Mrs. Marshmallow. Before long, the kitchen was filled with delicious smells as Belle made one recipe after another. Oh my gosh, if this stuff is actually in this kit, it's going to be so freaking cute. Do you see those things uh, right there? Look at tiny little strawberries, tiny little eggs. Oh my gosh. All of Belle's family was happy to see the delicious dinner she had made. My, this is delicious, said Heidi, Belle's mother. I've never tried this before. How did you make it? Asked Harlan, Belle's father. Mrs. Marshmallow helped me, replied Belle. She was very happy indeed that everyone liked her cooking. The next day, Belle headed back to the market with a big basket. She wanted to cook something delicious again. Could you teach me how to cook some more yummy recipes? Belle asked Mrs. Marshmallow. Of course replied Mrs. Marshmallow. What kind of food would you like to cook today? And so Mrs. Marshmallow taught Belle how to cook new recipes every time Belle came to the market. Now Belle liked going to the market even more. Oh my gosh, what a happy ending. Look at that. Yay. Okay, so let's dive right in. Let's keep Belle right there. Um, We've got all the stickers that go to the grocery market. There is, actually I'm going to set Belle off to the side just a little bit. There will be the grocery market sticker on both the front and the back. So I'm just going to flop it like so. And put that in there. Nice. And then flip it over and I'll do the same for this side. It looks like we've got some stickers for the awnings. So far, I haven't needed the sticker guide because it's kind of obvious where they'll go, but let's see. There. Oops, this one is really off center. Like, wow, really? Um, can't get it back out, so we're just going to have to live with it. Um, let's see. There are two awning stickers, one large and one small. I'm assuming the large one will go here and that the small one will go here. And I'm just gonna go with that. So let's try it and see if it works. Okay. Can't really show you this too well on camera. So maybe if I tip it and then I kind of line it up. And I really mucked it up and then I ripped it because it stuck to my band-aid because I got bit by a guinea pig earlier while trying to cut her nails. So let's try that again. And I think it was more successful this time. Uh, how to hide the rip though. Okay. 
put the side with the rip down first and then smooth it. Oh, you can't really tell unless you look real close. So don't look too close, okay? Okay. All right. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can get this band-aid off. Uh, looks good. Not too much gore. I don't think it's bleeding anymore. So I'm just going to set the band-aid off to the side so we can continue on. Alright, let's put this one on. Ooh, wow, nailed that one like perfectly. Look at that. Ooh, so good. Alright, and then we've got thank you ones and welcome ones, which, oh, I can tell already, go right on the inside and the outside of the door so we're gonna put welcome on the outside Oops, don't cling too far away okay okie dokie um and i do know that some of these long fancy stickers go on the front so let's just see I'm assuming these ones go here. I'm going to cheat on these ones. Or I'm not going to cheat. I'm just going to look. Size 4 go on the front. Size 5 go on the outside. And size 6 go on the inside. Okay. So the longer ones actually go on the front. Because they wrap around. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, that seems successful. Ooh, ooh, I got that one, nailed that one. I love stickers, but I'm never really great at placing them, not gonna lie. And, ooh, got that one pretty good too. Okay, so now we're gonna go to size five and we're gonna put the fives on the outside and then we'll move to the inside. Do the six ones and also put on the thank you for shopping ones. These ones you gotta be pretty precise on. They go right into the little cracks almost perfectly. Okie dokie. But it does also make it a little easier because you can kind of line it up pretty well and then push it in. Ow, that kind of hurt. All right, now let's make sure we get the doors flopped shut a little so that we can put the thank you signs on. I noticed that some of the newer ones make you do a lot of stickering yourself, and I don't know if that's on purpose or laziness. I kind of, While I like stickers, I don't really like to do all this myself. I kind of want to pull the bits out of the box and have everything stickered up, and then I just play with it and put it together and just enjoy the the actual bits, not the stickering bit, but whatever. All right, now comes the hard part because the stickers that go on the inside, they go in these little rails and the rails are kind of deep. Kind of just stick it in there and pull as straight as I can. <gasps> no. Okay, this would probably be A, a lot easier if you had tweezers, and B, if they hadn't made the etches so deep, or whatever you want to call them, the edging, I don't know. What was the point of that? Ugh. Okay, let's try to st stick it down and hold it with one finger while we stretch with the other. Good luck to anyone who does this. This one is super crooked. I'm not really caring because like I said, they're way up here in these dents and I don't think it matters. But if you look now we have thank you signs and welcome signs. Then we've got a food corner sign and a welcome sign. So let's pull the rest of the bits out. We've got an adorable little basket. We've got our little fence pieces that into there. Ooh, ow. 
ripped open my thing. So I'm going to be very careful because I think I might start bleeding again. Um, so here's the little conveyor belt with the slider bit. I don't see anything readily that says what the food corner is. Oh, I'm assuming welcome and food corner will go on the insides. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Welcome goes on the outside of the building and food corner oh, goes on top of this. Okay. So welcome will go on the outside. It's like welcoming them, telling them they're ours. Oh, now I see it too. There is a little thing. I guess I didn't look hard enough the first time. Okay. Parking is free. And today's specials are lettuce, eggs, tomatoes, and bananas. So this sticker sheet is now complete. And, ooh, I think I nailed that one perfectly. Alrighty, garbage. We've got a little shopping bag, and it looks like the little scanner for scanning grocery prices. Barcodes, that's the word I'm looking for, is right there. Oops, sorry, guys. Hope. Yeah, she's leaking a little. So after this video, I better put that band-aid back on so I don't make anyone squeamish. Let's cut this open so I don't have to yank too much. Okay. So we've got our tiny little scanner, which go, or not our scanner, our pin pad, which goes right here. Okay. And then we've got our shopping bag, our shopping cart. And now we've got all of these stickers to go on all of these canned goods. So what I'm going to do is I don't see any tape, but why is it not coming open? Oh, there is a tiny piece of tape right there. I'm going to try to be very careful and not fling these all over. Ooh, I did it. Okay. So we've got oh, tiny nanas. Look at these little things. Okay, we're gonna put them right here. And we've got tiny little peppers three yellows it would be kind of cool if they had given us some reds and greens as well and maybe even an orange but hey just my take on things Ugh, i can't get it out there it is okay so we'll plop those in there we've got what appears to be two heads of lettuce so that's what they look like and put them right there we've got lots of of tomatoes and several oranges. I'm going to try to get all the canned items out so I can kind of pour. Oops. Oops. Okay. None of this just went the way I wanted it to. So, bear with me. I know somebody fell on the floor. Ah, some eggs. Okay. So we've got our six. Oh, wait. Three tomatoes and three apples. Okay. Okay. So we'll put the apples here. And the oranges here. And um, let's see. Move the lettuce over. Okay. So the tomatoes can go there. We've got this tiny little thing, which I'm assuming is a credit card. <laughs> I set that there for a moment. Okay. Now we've got all our various things. I don't believe the eggs are going to have any stickers on them. It doesn't look like. So we're going to stick the eggs. I don't know. On the shelf, I guess. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm 
assuming before I do it, I'm going to check first. Yes. It looks like we've got um, an apple juice and an orange juice. And I can tell that these are the juice ones. I'm not going to look. I kind of want to just do it because if you look, they've got that little cap on top. And then let's see. Put that on like that. And then just wrap it right around. <gasps> Oops, I made a mistake. You should put the back or the last one on first. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you look at the sticker, there's like here. Focus. Focus. It's still not focusing. So do you see how that's like the front of the thing? And then if you look that piece is orange, start with the orange piece on what you want to be the front because that kind of covers up the white if you make a mistake. It's like, do you see? You would start with that and then wrap around so that you end up with a perfect four-sided curtain. So we'll do that with the apple one. And obviously the front is the side with the cap. The back doesn't have a cap. Pull, pull, pull. And if you pull as you're wrapping, it gives you, oh, almost perfect. That one didn't go on as great. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did the first time and put on the front first and then kind of pull it off when I get back around. Okay, so let's start like this. Wrap, wrap. It's still not going on right. Bear with me, guys. I mean, I know it doesn't have to be perfect, but geez, it could be a little better than what it's doing. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to pull the front flap back up so that I can put the back flap down. And there. That looks much better. Okay. So let's put the juices with the fruit. Okay, and then we've got fresh milk, which I'm assuming are probably these round bottles. So let's just take a peek. Yes, milk goes on the ones that look like they've got caps. And as far as I can tell, there's no particular front to these. So just kind of put it on there roll it around and seal it perfect okay one done and there is kind of like an indentation on the milk bottle to help keep the sticker rolling in a straight line and done so we've got two milk bottles. Kind of ugly. They don't line up very well, if you ask me. I'm going to set them here for now. I just realized that it's not really facing forward. So I'm going to try to do it so that the camera, so you guys can watch as I go. Um, so then we've got two cartons of these sizes and two cans of each of these sizes. It looks like we've got large and small sweet corn. Again, there are indentations on the cans, and it looks like this side is the side that will be the overlapping side because the other side has the ingredient label. That one wrapped on there really nicely. All right. And then let's do this one. I'm definitely glad I took my band-aid off because putting all these stickers on would be pretty hard because I have to wear the cloth ones because I break out from the adhesive. 
All right, so now we've got the mini sweet corn and that around. Beautiful. I will show you guys all these up close once I get them all stickered as well. Don't worry about that. You'll get to enjoy the cuteness of the minis. That in there. This way. Doing the rolling technique is really helping keep it on. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I put one of the sweet corns on upside down for the minis because if you look, they've got little pop tops and I just put this one on upside down. Though, you know what? If I can't unstick it, nope, I'm not going to try because I think it'll ruin the sticker. It's a Walmart sticker. <laughs> okay, so... These are what the corns look like up close. And veggies are kind of going over here. So let's see, corn, corn. Oh, got a tickle, corn, and corn. Okay, turn it back around. Alrighty, let's see, we do have they really, it really is a card, tiny little card stickers. Okay, yes. So if you don't have a delicate touch or fingernails, I would definitely recommend getting tweezers, especially if you have tweezers for dollhouse or tiny craft making. I'm going to make sure both sides of the cards have the stickers on face up this time. We want it to look legit, not like it was fake made. So this is probably really hard to see. I don't know, know if I can get it to focus because like the camera is just grabbing too much, but it's realistic looking. Okay. Then we've got screen for the pin pad. And it does have markings on both or not on the front side, which is weird. I just realized because the pin pad is facing away from the customer, but that's how it clicks into place. Like, you would think that the pin pad would be, like, this way with the buttons and the swipe, but it's facing away from the customer because that's how it fits in there. Okay. Um, let's see. There is a price for the register. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I added that little price sticker there. We've got the shopping bag. Doesn't have any stickers. Okay. We've got the today specials and the farmer market, which go right here. There are no indentations, so we can just kind of slap them on. I'm not going to try to be too precise because I feel like the more precise I try to be, the worse it'll look. So I'm just going to slap them in there. Can you see that? Oh, I'm a little out of the frame. Excuse me, excuse me. So I just kind of slap them in there. They're not straight by any means. They're not even level. But I feel like that's probably how they look in a real store. So it's all good. Okay. So now we just have the gluten. Okay. It's not even gluten free. It literally says breakfast gluten organic products. So, oh, it is gluten free. So we've got two boxes of gluten free cornflakes and two boxes of crackers. So. Let's carefully pull the stickers off for our boxes of cereal. I'm going to attempt to put this on. I don't know how successful I will be because this one's kind of convoluted. But let's just fold all the flaps. Hmm. I don't know. It turned out pretty cute. I don't know if I'm doing that well enough, but you get the gist. Okay. So let's continue on. We got one more cornflake to go and then the two cracker boxes. I definitely found it easier putting the middle right on the middle, like the front on the front of the box and then everything lined up perfectly going from there. Put that one on just a smidge crooked. Okay. Ugh. The first one went so well. There we go. Okay. 
I just don't want it to overlap wrong and look goofy. So fold, 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 and fold. Okay, and there are our two boxes of gluten-free cereal. Let's rotate this back around and we'll put it up here. And then we've just got our two cracker boxes to go. We'll kind of tuck those like this. And put the milk in here. Nope, I was right the first time. The milk doesn't really fit, so they'll stick off to the side. All right. Ow. Peel these off carefully because they're a little skinnier and I don't want them to rip. And... You know, it's actually easier if you have the sticker turned upside down and you line up the material with the sticker and then put that on then that and then that and then wrap it all the way around oops this is one of those stickers where the underneath overlaps with the last panel so pull that one back up so that that can roll under and fold it back down and we've got ourselves a box of little crackers. Put those up on the shelf. That one went really well. It all lined up perfectly the first time. So let's see if we can nail it again. Pop that on there. Fold this way first. Nope, I can already tell that's off a line a little bit. As I started to roll it on, it went on a little crooked, so let's try that again. That looks perfect. Roll. 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 Smush and smush. Again, looks good. Line those up in there. Okay, so that is all the food for the food corner. This is what it looks like all put together. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put the checkout in here. I'm going to put a basket right here. Shopping bag right here. Okay, so this is what we have. And we do have some stickers left, so bear with me. Oh, the whole register gets stickers, apparently. So let's set this to the side. So. Long. Okay. So the long, there's a long side and there's a long sticker. And all the stickers go on the bottom. And then again, it does have an indent, kind of like a toe kick. So I'm gonna use my trick where I hold with one finger, pull all the way across to keep the line straight, and then only press down once I have confirmed that I like it. I find that to be the easiest. Oh no, it stuck to my finger and ripped right in half. So that sucks. We'll do the best we can getting the rest lined back up. That was what I was trying to avoid when I took off the band-aid, but you know, can't really tell, right? I think it'll be fine. Let's try to not do that with this one. So at least we know the stickers are sticky and they won't fall off with use. Okay, pull it tight looks good and then the little piece goes on this edge and there so there's edging on all four sides now we can put the conveyor belt back on in we've got a bag we've got a card to pay we've got a cashier and 
there is that so far. So I'm just going to slide this off to the side a little bit so that we can open up. <gasps> yeah, the other one is called the Candy Wagon. I think I mentioned that in the popcorn video um, with the lamb. So the other item that I'm hoping to find eventually for not very expensive is the Candy Wagon. And it goes to, with the fruit cart. Also, I just realized... Nope. There was a book, but I wanted to make sure there was no little blurbs on the edges or anything. Um, connect the candy wagon to the fruit wagon, and you can have tons of fun when you put them in front of the village cake shop. The village cake shop I really, really want, but I'm assuming it's hard to get because it's like $86. And so I am just threw it in my Amazon wish list. And as soon as I see the price drop or I save up a ton of money again, I will buy it. Um, if you can look right there with the toy poodle, I know it's really crappy to see, but can you focus phone? Nope. Okay, great. Love it. So that right there, though, is the candy shop. And it's super cute. It's another wagon. It's got all these lollipops and great things. Let's try to open this. Okay. Looks like there are a few stickers and instructions on this flap that we'll be using. Let's get it out. like a pile of raspberries blackberries some more oranges okay all the fruits out of there we've got a bunch more bananas and lemons Ooh, this is gonna be so cute all right um trying to be mindful of the bite on my finger so i don't pull it open again and start bleeding again all right oh my gosh a couple of pears and a honeydew melon. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Um, oh geez, the tape on this is super sticky. Okay, the stickers and the display. Okie dokie. So this little doodad and this little doodad are what help connect them to the other cart, like, um, like that. And it would hook onto the other cart. Obviously, since we don't have the other cart, I'm just going to set it in here for now. Nope, not going to set it in there because I'm guessing that's where the raspberries go. This looks like, actually it doesn't use for that. It looks actually like it might be a fruit weight. Yep, there's a sticker for the fruit weight right here. Ha ha ha, that is so funny. So let's make sure it's zero pounds up. And is there a, oop, yep, right there, right? No? I really thought I saw a spot for it, but now I'm confused. Okay, so, oh, does it go there? No, okay, I can't quite figure it out. Maybe there's more to it and I'm just, oh yeah, look, I think maybe there's this basket, right? <laughs> That's what you get for not following the instructions. Oh, and the basket probably attaches in here like this. Ha ha ha, okay, that's actually mad cute. There's our little fruit hanging basket. I still think it goes here. I'm just maybe not pressing hard enough. Where's the instructions? Oh, this little doodad that I assumed was for connecting the cart actually is what holds on to the thing. So it actually goes here. I couldn't read that at all, I guess. And then this hooks onto here. Somehow. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. So, like this? Well, that just don't seem right. Oh, it hangs from the side? Like this? What in tarnation is happening? Does it go like this? Nope. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, do I have this all backwards? Oh, okay, so the basket does not hook in there. Hardy, hardy, heart. The basket is basketed. It hangs from the hook. And this part where I looped the basket hangs from here so that it works like that. Yep, that's where I outsmarted by a fruit hanging basket. Okay, so let's put the little cart in front of the camera as I put everything together. We've got our board and it doesn't look like it matters. Oh wait, <laughs> so the board and the stairs were stuck. So we've got a display stand, a board, and it doesn't look like it matters because both sides are the same. So we'll take the sticker off and put it on here like so. Today's recommendation is freshly picked blueberries. And so here's that. Let's see. The rolling wagon has crates of delicious apples, oranges, bananas, pears, berries, lemon, and a melon. There's even a fruit scale and easel sign to list today's specials. No storybook, but we do believe, or no, we do know that the chipmunk runs it, I'm assuming, because she's standing there in the picture. Okay, so let's try to follow the picture and figure out what we got. So let's do the little twisty twisty for the buckets so that we don't break anything. Okay, buckets are free. Garbage. Um, it looks like the melon gets its own spot. It gets the big spot right here. We've got pears, and they look like they go in one of the larger buckets. Twisty, twisty. Oops. Um, just realized the fruit cart is now blocking kind of what I'm doing, so let's see. Do -do -do -do. Scooty, scooty. Okay, yes. So pears can go here. And they just kind of sit out here, here. Now I'm too far. Scoot, 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 scoot. Okay, there we go. Okay, garbage. Um, lemons look like they go in the other large. So twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. And then these two little buckets are the same size. One gets the blueberries and one gets the raspberries. I'm going to cut them out. And they look like they just kind of sit in there however we want them to. So like that. And like that. And then they can be displayed on this little stand. Okay. Scoot, scoot, scoot. And then we've got tons of oranges. Again, I'm just going to cut right across the top to free them. And there should be... We've got five of them. Looks like she's got one in her scale, but let's see if all five will fit. Nope, four. Oops. And then she just kind of has one already waiting to go in her scale. And it must be mad heavy because it's tipping right over. Okay. Can you stay on that side and flop this way maybe? No? Okay, whatever, girl. Oh, no, there was stickers that I didn't stick. Okay, we're going to take this off for a moment. And we're going to take the veggies off. So there are actually wheel stickers. I don't know how I missed that. So let's put those on. Boop. Again, nice little indents to put those on with. And there are also stickers for saying what the stuff is. So I'm going to put them in the order that I want. I see that there's a sticker for banana, but it doesn't actually show me where to stick them. 
Use it on the other flap that I didn't cut open. Nope, both flaps show the same stuff, so I guess... We can just decide where to put them. Okay, so I'm going to put bananas here. Because that's what it shows in the picture, even though there's no saying why the sticker goes there. I'm going to actually put the oranges on this one. Again, if you have tweezers, this might be easier with tweezers. Because I just put that one in there and it is completely off center. And there's no way to get it back out of its little hole now. Frustrating. I hate crap like that. I know it shouldn't bother me, but my OCD tells me otherwise. We've got grapes. And then melon. And then I don't see a specific side where lemon will go, so I'm just going to stick it on there. It doesn't even have it in the picture, which I find kind of odd. So let's put it like that. So we've got the little lemon. And there's one for pears. So basically everything has a sticker except for the berries, which I find a little peculiar, but whatever, we'll roll with it. Okay, so let's put this back here. And we can unroll all of our bananas. Twist them right out. Okay. They honestly feel like a little rubbery, which is kind of cool. So they almost feel realistic. And then we'll just tuck them right in there. Put our oranges back in. This little guy rolled away. And then we'll grab our little hanger again. And then there's that. And now let's get our apples freed. And there's four apples. Oops, and they all roll away. And lastly, our three bunches of grapes. Look how stinking adorable this is i just love it it works perfectly with the market and uh yeah i can't wait for the whole little village to start coming together i hope you guys really enjoyed this double unboxing video of the grocery market and the fruit cart and i'll see you on the next one bye